Nigeria is located at the extreme inner corner of the Gulf of Guinea on the west coast of Africa. Its capital is Abuja, and Abuja is located at the center of the country. The main nationalities in northern Nigeria are Hausa, Thai, Fulani, and Kanari. The main nationalities in southern Nigeria are Igbo, Ibaibo, Edo, Yoruba, Anak, and Yoruba. Nigeria's early history leads back to the British because in 1905, the British invaded and established rule over Nigeria. In 1914, the British united both East southern and northern Nigeria to become the colony and proctorate of Nigeria. During Britain's reign, some political, cultural, and economic changes were made. However, even under British rule, the common tradition of governing people through traditional chiefs and tribal institutions was kept in place. The idea of a self-governed country was first suggested to the public by Namdi Azifi. It was first mentioned in 1938 in the Youth Charter. The Charter outlined a plan for nation reconstruction. The Charter also encouraged young Nigerians to join the youth movement. However, not all Nigerians wanted a self-governed country. The Northern Nigerians believed that if Nigeria became self-governed, the South would have the most power since they were more economically and politically advanced. Between the years of 1948 to 1960, Nigeria fought to gain its independence and different political groups formed. Some of the political groups were the NCNC, the Action Group, and the Northern Elements Progressive Unit. The Constitution of 1954 created a federal form of government and gave more power to the regional governments. A constitutional conference was held on May and June of 1957, and as a result, Eastern and Western Nigeria were granted immediate self-government. The North got self-government in 1959. The next step to gain independence was quickly taken, and on October 1, 1960, Nigeria was granted full independence. When and where were you born? I was born March the 22nd, 1949, in Jos, Plateau State of Nigeria. Did you live in northern or southern Nigeria? Well, I came down to the south. That was northern Nigeria. I came down to the south, and I live in the south. I lived in the south. How was life growing up in Nigeria, like daily activities? Normal, like every other. Normal. Did you witness any war while residing in Nigeria? Yes. I witnessed the, the first coup. That was 1966. I was a young girl then. Did you know of any dislike between northern and southern Nigeria? Yes. There was dislike, there was uh, rivalry, there was... Yeah. What caused the dislike between northern and southern Nigeria? Well, uh, differences in um, educational background, differences in religion. That was, that was it. And a uh, tussle for power. Did you notice any U European influence as you grew up? Yes, the, the Europeans were there, were around. While you resided in Nigeria, was there any attack from the north or south on each other? Oh yeah, the, that was uh, the, the, well, would we say the whole country against the Igbos, yeah. Igbos were in the south, and the majority of the soldiers that fought at that time were from the north. How stable was the Nigerian government after the independence? Not stable. There was uh, there were rivalries and uh, strife, and uh, it boiled down to the coup. Did you witness any student uprisings or corruption? Yes, that was rampant. Is Southern Nigeria still more advanced in education and economics than Northern Nigeria? Very much. Northern Nigeria is more like a rural area? Not really, not really. They, uh, well, they have many rural uh, areas there, but um, because of the Northerners being in government for a, quite a long time, they use most of the resources from the South to develop the, the North. And, uh, we still have very rural uh, parts of northern Nigeria, but some areas like Kano, Kaduna, Jos are quite developed. 
Were there any difficulties growing up because Nigeria was trying to transition into a new independent country? No difficulty trying to grow up uh, when we were growing up. Everything was, like I said before, normal. Normal life. Mm -hmm. While you resided in Nigeria, were any of the presidents or government officials assassinated? If so, why? Um, um, there were many assassinations in 1966 because of uh, power tussle. Abubakar Balewa was assassinated. Michael, that was um, the prime minister at that time. And uh, Michael Okbara, many other big men like that were assassinated. Agun Yirossi was uh, who took over from uh, was also assassinated. Yeah. No, all boiled down to power tussle. Tussle for power. What was the impact of the independence of Nigeria on your life? Every nation will want to be independent. And uh, the people that took over brought about uh, free education, which was not there before. And many people who would not have gone to school because of uh, poverty, they were able to go to school. After Nigeria gained its independence, many disagreements and challenges were faced. Nigeria, as an independent country, faced fighting between native groups, government corruptions, and assassinations, drought and famine, civil war, and student uprisings. Nigeria faced many difficulties as an independent country, but it was able to elect a president. The first president of Nigeria was Namdi Azigwe.